Today's art is memorial art made from the ashes of a pet and I've made a picture frame, a wall hanging, two keychains, and two necklaces. Hi Nadine and Robert, this is the start of my video. I oops, just received your uh, package in the mail today and I'm going to make this special for you. I'm just going to start off by painting my two boards blue and I'm going to let them dry and then I'm going to come back and do the resin work later. And I have nothing specific in my head of what I'm going to do. I just know uh, the technique I'm going to use and I know where I'm going to end up but I don't know what the final result will be until we're final result stage. So anyway, I'm just going to take this out. This is the little heart. I'm going to do one heart for you like this. And I'm going to do one heart like this for you. And I'm just going to start off by taking the string off. And the next step is to do my taping. Here I'm applying a thin layer of resin so that the pigmented resin will move more freely onto the wood. So this is what Nadine sent me. These are her ashes from her bunny. We're going to add that in here. And I'm only going to put it in one color. And I'm going to make sure that I make a couple hearts, a pendant or keychain or whatever, and this one pendant for a necklace for her as well. All that must have this blue in there because that's the only color that will have the ashes. See that? See that in there? Okay, it came out a little bit lumpy and that's okay because the next time we do, we are going to do at least two coats of resin. And so, we will not have to worry about the lights. I love this blue. And I love resin. And then I'm just going to go with another color and fill up in the bottom half so you kind of want to go through it. And let's see, we'll do a pink color. In there. This you probably really don't see at all, but who knows? Maybe a little bit. I'm going to finish it off with my blue. Don't want to overfill it because I don't have to cut out the back. With, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to go with the steel blue on top here just to give it a little extra color. So.
Okay, so now this is my most important one to get down because this is the one that we don't want to. I do need to save some for the hearts. Bring that in mind. Okay, I don't want to put some in my heart, so I've got these here hearts. And other heart over here. And one more heart, the last heart. Just that. First I use a torch and then I use the hot air gun to move the pigments around. This is silver leaf foil that I'm applying. The torch will pop the bubbles without moving too much of the uh, colors around. So this is what I have so far. You can see some fantastic colors. I prefer this side to that side. So I may come in tomorrow and change that up a little bit. But I'm really liking this picture frame. You can see the colors this down a bit. Got some fantastic uh, colors going in there. So, and as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but the um, silver foil does stick up a bit. So tomorrow when I come back in, I will um, put more resin on here to make sure that the foil lays, uh, so that the foil is not bumping up. And then change, change any parts I don't like. Or, yeah, you do as I need. There's the one heart, and here's the pendant. And then I've got the two other little hearts over here. Anyway, that's day one. This is the start of day two, and what I'm going to do first is remove the tape. Uh, so that I always like to put on new tape because I don't want the epoxy to build up along the tape.
after removing the tape, I applied new tape and then I made sure that I uh, had a firm adhesion to the edge of the uh, items I was going to re-epoxy. That way the epoxy doesn't get between the tape and the piece that I'm working on. So this here hard here is one with the ashes. I can see that it was like a little bit of a stone flick to it. And then these two have the ashes. Again, we see a little bit of a stone effect in here. And the third one. Those three, and then the pendant. It's got a nice little coloring here. This is the back side, and then this side here, I don't know if you can see, but this is like uh, the crystals on the inside, like a geode. And so these three make sure that, four, sorry, three hearts and the pendant to make sure go into a container for you. I'll put it in this little baggie so it's going to get mixed up with anything else. And so that's all, these are all the things with the ashes in there. First I'm mixing up my colors and then I'm going to apply some clear epoxy so that the colors will move along the art easily. And then I apply the colors. This is the second day. This is the end of day number two. For the next two days I did add two more layers of resin, but I did not add any other colors. Now I've taped the edges and I've put uh, Saran Wrap onto the epoxy so that I can spray the back with a polyurethane.
these are the final results of the artwork.